Instagram, y'all. Everybody get back here. Get back here right now. Get back here right now. They stopped the live. We finna get back to it. I apologize for the inconvenience. This is the first one. That's all. We getting it right. Everybody get back here. We finna bring OG back up. We finna bring OG back up. We finna bring OG right back up, y'all. They shut, they stopped the live. We finna go right back up. This shit just getting juicy. Y'all tag OG, double underscore OO dot G, so we can get them back in here. Y'all tag OG. Let's get them back in here. Yeah, I know how Instagram be doing. They just stopped the live out of nowhere. We finna get it right back going, though. This shit don't stop. Somebody tag OG Boo Dirty. At double underscore OO. There you go. Tag him. Let me get him back in here. I'm trying to click on it. We're trying to get Boo Dirty back in here, y'all. One second. OG, request the live again. Hold on, y'all. Let me call him. Let me get him to request live again. It's getting good, y'all. News you can use broadcast. It's a broadcast, not a podcast. Hey, request the live again, bro. The Instagram stops. Request it again. Alright. He finna request the live, y'all. We finna keep keep it going. We keeping it going. This episode one. I know y'all enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I know y'all enjoying this. Y'all can't get this information from nowhere else. I'm your host, Big Homie Star. At News You Can Use Broadcast. This is a broadcast, not a podcast. In conjunction with Late Bloomers Podcast. Shout out to my content partner, Big Homie G. I mean, Big Trudy, I'm sorry. Damn, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Shout out to my content partner, at Big Trudy. I'm going get OG back in here. <laughs> Hey, Trip. <laughs> I'm new to this. Chocolate, you hear me? All right, y'all. We got OG Dirty back. They just stopped the live on Instagram. We got back in, though. So we're going to stop it. All right. So we was on, uh, we was on Acon. We was on Young Thug telling Acon, uh, if you don't sign him, you ain't no real nigga. Say it one more time, bro. I said we was on. Young Thug telling Akon, if you don't sign Boot Dirty, you ain't no real nigga. Came out there and said this. Me and Young Thug was in the studio at the time. We was in a whole nother room. They was in a whole nother uh, room. So they was in, we was in studio A, they was in studio B. You know what I mean? So when we come out of studio A, that's what Akon brother told me, bro. Yo ass, hey, bro. You so hard, dog. The pain you rapping with, bro, that shit is one of a kind. You like your Akon don't call you, bro. I ain't no real nigga. I'm gonna oh, hold my okay, 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 to clear it up then. He said, Thug said, Akon don't call you, I ain't no real nigga. Nah, his brother. Akon brother. Ah, uh, his brother Boo, the manager. Yeah. So his brother Boo stamped it. Yeah, he stamped it. So about 12 days passed, I still didn't get no call. I still didn't get no call, you know what I mean? About the 13th day, I got a call. He said, yo. I'm like, who the fuck is this? He's like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> it's Akon. I'm like, who? He's like, it's Akon. What's good? I'm 
like, what's good, bro? I've been waiting on your car. He's like, I know, bro. I've been in and out of the country, bro. I've been tied up. Like, what's your schedule like? I'm like, man, it depends on what you're talking about. He's like, well, I'm in the A right now. You you want to come on down? I'll send you a flight. I'm like, no, I'm probably going to drive. I'm going to bring some people with me. I don't want to be in the line by myself. He's like, all right. Well, I'm headed to the studio. How long will it take you to get here? Like you say, like five hours. He's like, all right, I'll still be there. Call me when you get here. So he gave me the address. I pull up. You know what I mean? He chopped up meat juice, bookie. A couple more of my, my folks, you know, a couple more of our folks. We ain't gonna say no name. You know what I mean? We pull up, we chop it up, we go to Magic City, we go to a couple spots. He take me there. We go, we go to after eat, we talk about it, we discuss it and that. He said he wanted to discuss it more with me by myself without everybody in the entourage around, so he's gonna fly me to LA in a couple of days. He flew me to L.A. The rest was history. After that, we just rocking. Like, he had never, it was his birthday, so when I showed up to L.A., I showed up with, like, two pairs of sabers. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was like, bro, don't you know ain't nobody got me a gift for 10 years, 20 years? He's like, I don't get gifts. He's like, don't nobody give me gifts, bro. You can't write in the door with a gift. Let's be highly of you. I had two pairs of sabers for him. You know what I'm saying? So we just connected from the dope. Everything he was doing, he was, he was running by me. Like I was the a and I was the manager. What you think about him? What you think about us doing this? What you think about that? You know what I mean? It's like he told me he didn't want me to rap. Like he, he didn't care about music no more. So he just really cared about me, our friendship. What we had, what we had created, the bond we created. He was like, listen, bro. I'm lighting Africa. I got my own. They building my own city. So I'm finna have my own city. He's like, you can just chill. Sit back and chill. He's like, we'll be worth billions in a couple of years. Four, five years from now, we're gonna look back and be worth billions. You ain't gonna think about rap. You ain't gonna care nothing about music. I'm like, but I care about music. I got fans. I got people to, to please. He's like, oh, gee, you're not listening. Like the money you think about in music, bro. Like that's one check of me just saying, huh, bro. Here go this. You like, man, just ride it out with me, just chill. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what, he took me to, he took me to uh, Italy, to all the meetings. He took me to Dubai, and all the meetings. We was in Dubai three weeks. Can't smoke in Dubai. I ain't like none of the food, so I had lost like 45 pounds in Dubai. Just not eat. Just eat. I was on food diet for like three weeks in Dubai because I ain't like none of the food. So I had lost like 50 pounds in Dubai. And then after that, we went on tour. So I went to like four, five countries with them just going to meetings about him. They invested in him in Latin Africa. Like I'm in rooms that I never imagined. Like they, they, this nigga here, they, they giving this nigga. $25 billion to get started on the on the city. Dubai gave him 35 million, 35 million to get started on the city. Like, these folks really, like, I'm in these type of rooms. So yeah. the, the seven, eight years I took off of music, nigga, I wasn't even really thinking about music. I was coaching football and in, in them type of meetings. Okay. So, so where, so where you and Akon in right now? Y'all still locked in? Yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my call right now. He pick up the phone online. That's how close we are. Okay, okay. We gonna get into something else. All right. What's your favorite song that you ever dropped? Mm, like my dad. Like my dad is playing. Meant to you. Uh, uh, every, every, everything I said in the song is really, it was my first time rapping. So it wasn't nothing that I can lie about. It was my, it was the what, like my dad was what, the third song, fourth song we did came at the Ripping Mob. So, mm -hmm. that was, was one of the third, fourth song we did when we started working on your solo music. 
Yeah, I remember it, it was like the time that was important to you. Like you wanted to get that song out the way before a lot of shit. Yeah, because I knew how it feel to be up waiting at night on your parents. I knew how it feel to be up. You know what I'm saying? I was a kid of a, a in and out pops. You know what I'm saying? A, a hustling pops. A street, a street nigga. You know what I mean? So I was raised more by my brothers. Like me and my dad both more tighter than ever now, but I was raised more by my brothers as, as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my brother just came home 22 and a half years. He just got home 48 hours ago. Like, doing that. Me and him sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Sharing the crackers, sharing the, you know what I'm saying? Goose milk with the, the Roman noodles. You know what I mean? Like, it was us, Juice, Bookie. Like, we were, my dad was there, but he was in and out. He was, he was a pimp. You know what I'm saying? So he was hustling. Like, he was, he was smashing for a living. So, so like, I respected the game once I got older and realized what he was doing, but as a kid, I couldn't understand it. Because he meant so yeah. much to me, you know what I'm saying? He was my king. He still is my king, you know what I'm saying? If he ever be my king, but at the time, I needed him so much as a child to draw me to have so much pain and just taking it out on people just to be taking it out. Like, I was just sitting here explaining to my brother, like, bro, you been gone 22 years, you my best friend. We're a year apart. Like, you gave me pain that people couldn't even imagine where it was coming from. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, 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 nobody can understand the pain of me. Like, some of the pain that we've been through. So, I just put it on beats. You know what I'm saying? And it relates to other people's stories just like mine. So many people went through the same pain. So, all the niggas in jail, they relate to the same shit I'm speaking of. Yeah. Alright, so that's your favorite song, Like My Daddy, which was on All Most Famous Mixtape, hosted by DJ Screen. What's your favorite mixtape that you ever dropped? Mm -hmm. Favorite mixtape? Story OG. Story OG, that's my favorite one too. Yeah, Story OG, that was the first, that was, that was really the first major mainstream CD that we had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had out of 17 songs, I think we had like 13 real bangles on that motherfucker. Like, yeah, no, no skips. No so, skips. Like, and, 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 what the, and what the fans couldn't see is the blood, sweat, and tears that went into that CD. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. every song, song came about around the everyday action of a new kind of life. Yeah. You know what I'm like, we're in the middle of. We in the middle of spinning, we in the middle of hooping. I mean, I'm coaching, I'm hustling. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't know I was coaching back then. I was a kid in them high school football coach. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> niggas don't know I've been coaching that long. Like, before I started rapping, Yeah, they don't I was know that. They, they, think, they think it started with the Ducks. They don't know you was coaching Yeah, they think school. it started with the Ducks. Now, I was a kid in them high school football coach. When I dropped out of school and came back. They don't even know that Kenny played football. Bad motherfucker. Kick it to him, he's Devin Elster with that bitch. Then I kick it to that little fucker. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, it's a lot of shit that drove us, bro, but I think it's just what it is. It's all like, we can tell the story, nigga. We can, the movie supposed to be been there. If all of us can get along, nigga, we'll make a billion dollars off the movie. You know what I mean? Like, that's how strong, how, how, how impactful we was. And we still live to the city. Uh, you just said a key word. You just said if all of us could get along. What What is the reason you think in today's time all of us can't get along? Or does it seem, or, or what you think it seems like we all not getting along? Say it one time, bro. I said you just said a key word. If all of us can get along, what we could be. What is the reason you think in today's time, we all can't get along. Mm -hmm. Me, personally, honest. Me, I'm just keeping it 100. And it's just how I feel. Everybody got their own state of mind and how they, they in, intake on it. I feel like... I feel like... I be so advanced sometimes on me speaking to my family to where it sound like hate sometimes. 
you get what I'm saying, to two years later it come back and it really happened and niggas be like, man, bro, said that was gonna happen. So for like, two man, years, you, they, right. right. So for two years they trying to prove me wrong until it really what I say happening. Then if they still mad at me when it happened because I said it was gonna happen. So I'm in a lose 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 two way street of knowing it's gonna happen. Okay, stop that he going to the NBA. And I'm the nigga who said, bro, you're not going to the NBA. But there's eight niggas behind you saying, bro, I'm telling you, you got a shot. And I'm saying, hey, bro, you ain't going to the NBA. And then everybody's been going to your game for six years straight, seven years straight. And, and you talking about you going to Howard Stern, Howard Stern, and we going to the NBA, or where are we going? And it's time for the draft. Your name ain't nowhere on that motherfucker. And I've been telling you, you want not going all the time. And then when you don't go, you still mad at me because I said, nigga, you, you going to be telling me, I go, hey, you know, you from the start because I saw you wasn't good enough back then. You nigga know what looking at you like a hater. So I feel like, bro, like, God chose me to do it first. Chose you to do it first to a point where when we didn't get it done, I feel like, I had all the opportunities in the world to get it done when I saw my son make his first tackle. I changed and didn't go back on the road for five years. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't going on the road for five years. Yeah. So by in that time, bro, people lost faith. Yeah, that's my sister. People lost faith. Nah. People lost faith in my situation of why you keep doing this, bro? I was chill. I just, I, that, I just go, Kanye. It's up to your auntie. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, so, they had a daycare, bro. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? But what were you saying? We were talking what about was when on? people lost faith over the years. You saw they the dirt like their first tackle. I found more faith in my son. You know what I'm saying? and my kids and, and people. I found what I lost in my father as a kid. I found what I lost in my brother leaving me as a child and going to jail for 20 some years. I found that in my son. I found that in the kids. So I didn't need the goons no more. I didn't need the hitters. I didn't need the shooters because I wasn't, never, I wasn't in that environment no more. I took myself yeah. out of the environment to a point they wanted me to be this person. And they only wanted me to be that person, and they were going to respect me for that person only. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Duke can't see eye to eye now because he only know me before he left us being this way. And I'm like, bro, I can't, I can't do this. I got a 19-year-old kid. I got a 15-year-old boy. I got a 10-year-old little boy that's looking at me every day. And, and, and I'm this image of them, bro, where they ain't seen this part of what you're trying to show them. Yeah, they didn't heard the story. We'll be in the mall. We'll be at the game. We'll be certain players like your daddy used to. Boy, your daddy used to. Boy, you should have been to see your daddy. Like, but physically, you want me to lace my boots up and, you know, get back to work. Like, I chose my kids, bro. I chose my family over there, bro. And I didn't care who I lost behind it. You know what I mean? Because I can't lose them. I can lose everything but them. They can get mad. They can curse me out. They ain't going to talk to me for six months. But that's mine. You see what I'm saying? Like, that, that's mine, bro. Like, so I chose that over any and everything. And to this day, I'm still rocking like that. And I still got all the friends who still love me. Niggas like you that still like this dirt that understand you got five, six kids of your own. So you know the same steps I made. You know what I mean? So... It's to a point where whoever don't well whoever don't like it, I'm okay with it. I ain't mad at the people that don't like the situation that I chose. I'm not mad at the people that chose to put me last instead of first because I ain't want to do it they way. I'm okay with it. I got six kids that love me. I got 25. I got I didn't coach 150 boys for the last 14 years. I've been getting back to the community, my nigga. I had to coach 140 boys every year for 14 years. So that's over 2,000 kids that I can say that I can help, that I spent yeah. my hard-earned money on. You know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah, yeah I lost I lost the older crowd of niggas, but I, I gained it with the younger generation. So, 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 so. Hey, man, I'm on the phone. <laughs> Ah, damn, bro, bro, this nigga there, bro. <laughs> I'm on the phone, bro. Take Cayenne with you. Yeah. Chad, yeah, hey, what's up, Chad? You all quiet? It's man, like, with you, man. See, so we chop it up. What's up, Chad? You know what I'm saying? So I chose that, bro. I still love who love me. I still fuck with who fuck with me. Whoever don't fuck with me still cool. They know I'm a big old gangster. There's certain shit they can't do, and I ain't gonna tolerate so I'm okay yeah. with that, bro. Like, okay. All right, so we can we can get into another question. All right, I'm gonna say another name, and you tell me how you feel about this artist, Money Bad Yo. How I feel about them? Yeah. Question? Yeah. Pertaining to like, just summed up in all is one. How I feel about them? All is a whole. Because it's, it's, it's a fact that you got a relationship with them. Of course, I got a relationship with yeah. them, but you got your own relationship with them. Mm -hmm. and what's the question again? How do you feel about Money Bad Yo? Or you could say, how did you feel about them? From the beginning up until now. Yeah. Actually, the same way. No, no difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody get their turn in this shit, bro. You know, you know what I mean? Like, we don't know who, who next. So, you know what I mean? Like, he was a nigga in the background that moved, God moved him to the front. You know what I'm saying? The half of the problems come because he was never a leader. He was always a foot soldier that God jumped to the front of the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, God had a specific spot for him in his life that he wanted to take him. But all his life, he's been a foot soldier. You know what I'm saying? In the back of the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he was never in the front of the line. So when he got to the front of the line, he didn't know how to control the front of the line. So now so many people beside him trying to earn so much rank and get a position to show him this way. It's too much for him to see. You know what I'm saying? It's cloudy for him to see. You know what I'm saying? So I think my relationship with shit with him, like, bro, I guess it was everybody else. Like, I wake up and watch him on BET. I wake up and watch him doing wonderful things for the community in the city. I ain't got no beef with him, man. Everything, I'm on a positive mission, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I ain't got no problem with him, bro. So, all glory to him and, and keep doing what he doing. What he eat don't make me shit. I get my own money. I get my own paper. I raise my own kid. I get my own homeboy. So, I ain't got my own on his paper. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as me having a problem with him, I can't because I, ain't, I, I don't see his situation. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? We... I think more of the the problem came from our me and you far as him being a rapper up under us and he felt like we ain't do enough for him coming up. You see him like bang on the hater, he was on bang on the hater, he was took off of bang on the hater. You know what I'm saying? So he got hurt and pain and shit that he go through too in the situation that we don't know what he think. You know what I'm saying? So and it 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 just can go anyway, bro. Like at the end of the day, we all grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, as men, certain people let shit go later than other people. Everybody grow up on their own time. You know what I'm saying? So, so me as a person, bro, I don't have a problem with nobody, bro. I'm straight positive, bro. Like, whoever got a problem with me is cool, though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't trying to fix it. I ain't in position to try to want to fix it. You can keep your situation that we in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going this way now. I ain't got no need. If you feel that way about me, it's cool. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to fix it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, dude. You know, they say anything. I took a six-year break. 
and everybody like, bro, you you finna do this and you finna do that. I'm like, I'm in it for the long haul, bro. I ain't looking to blow up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what this shit take. This shit take a constant grind, dedication. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't mm-hmm. in it to blow up tomorrow. You know, God say anything that blow up overnight is filled with infection. Anything that swell up overnight, man, is filled with infection. So I ain't looking to blow up overnight. I'm in this shit for the long haul, big dog. I feel you. I feel you. All right, so well, who was your favorite Memphis artist before you started rapping? Mm. I ain't have one. Or did you have one? Stalito. He a Tennessee Stalito. artist. You know what I'm saying? We could consider him like a Memphis artist. He'll beat yeah. him up the road, but yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I have to say Stalito. And my right, nigga. What's, what's one artist that's reachable that you haven't worked with that you want to work with? One more time. What's Name one artist that's reachable, that's in arm's reach, that you haven't worked with, that you want to work with still. In arm reach. Like somebody that you can get a hold to, if you know what I'm saying, the situation connect. Inside of Memphis or out just period? You don't got to be inside of Memphis. Just not like no Beyonce or no Adele or no shit like that. Raw Wave. Huh? Raw Wave. Rod Wave, okay, that'll be hard. You know, I, you know when Rod Wave blew, I told you, she, you was doing that shit before Rod Wave started. It just wasn't that type my of time, time in the music scene. It wasn't my, it, it wasn't my time, bro. I feel like I was mm-hmm. the death stone for Memphis. I was the, I was the, I was the, uh, damn, what's the word? I was the example for Memphis. What I mean by that? When I was rapping about Drill Marys, when we were saying fuck whole guy and pull up and ease away and all this shit, the streets didn't want that. So they ran from us. They ain't want none of that. Every, all the energy we were bringing, they ain't want that. And then you five years, they, they banned us, then five years later, you got Pooh Shice and them and Big 30. You got, you know what I'm saying? They rapping about the same shit. But the streets, we the murder capital now. We want the murder capital back then. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I was the thrill of the streets to, you got to look at it, we were the first click that turned into a game. You get what I'm saying? So that shit wasn't even thought of. It was us then, fam. Then this and that, this and that, this and that. So we were the first two people that was, they kicked off the block of Young Mob and Fam Mob. And then it came shit like the, the other squads and Stunner squads and Stack squads and all that old shit. And, EKBs and all the extra shit they claim and like it started then, you know what I'm saying? So like we just different, bro. Like we different. Bro. Like the more and more I wake up every day, I realize how different I am. I'm different. Alright, so how did you feel about the loss of Big Motor, because everybody know Big Motor was on your first big smash, OG. To be honest, bro, it ain't really hit me yet. It ain't, it ain't really hit me because you know, the, you know, like I know the history of before the music. A situation that been happen with us, you know what I'm saying? Off the record, you know what I'm saying? Like I love Motor, that's my dog. I feel, do I feel the moment? Do I feel that he gone? Um, I don't, I don't feel it until I show up to Barlin and see his nephew and his brother them and realize, huh? I'm going to go. Yeah. Oh, you're not going. You're not going. Y'all for to go somewhere? Nah, we, we just still ride. Huh? Oh, he look like he crying or something. He ain't crying. Yeah, yeah so. 
it, what were you saying, bro? About Big Mo, you said it ain't hit you yet. Until it you ain't hit me for like his he did. Because I, I ain't see him every day for the last five years. You know what I'm saying? It went from a point that we saw each other every day, waking up, hustling together, waking it up, beating people up, waking up, shooting people, to a point where I don't, I don't see him for six years or seven years. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, it, it ain't hit me yet, bro. Only it only hit me when I used to show up at Barber High School and look there to play with this his nephew, his brother, their culture, and I see the resemblance of them through him. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, my nigga gone. Like, I can't even call. Him. I still know a number by heart: three one five twenty five zero six. Like, this my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, this my dog. Like, so. I fuck with him. With my nigga, I love him, bro. But like, I done lost so many niggas to a point where it's just a regular feeling to me. Like, you gotta look you at know him to like, it. Ain't got, it ain't got routine. I know him to it, bro. Like, I'm gonna tell you, my brother went to jail for 22 years. He's my best friend. We're a year apart. I'm already know him. I know him. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Certain shit hit people different. Like, it don't, it don't hit me like, hit me in spurts. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, All right, so I got another name for you, OG. Hey, go. Let us know, let us know how you met Young Dolph and how you feel about Young Dolph and his untimely passing. I met mean, Young Dolph through Frulo. Frulo was putting up on your Dolph, Young Dolph straight out of high school. Young Dolph was selling cushion ounces for the 800. But we went to the club. Right he there at the up, gas station on Bear Right there at the gas station. He was pulling up. You remember that shit before we went to Air Club, 100 deep. Frulo was pulling up on Daddy Yo and Dolph. Frulo going to get his sink. They were selling all, all of us. 400. Half out, a juice eight hundred out. That was the good head just hit the scene, and he was yeah. getting money, bro. He was rapping, and you was rapping. I wasn't even rapping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Started with y'all. Yeah, until I graduated into the scene, and then it became us, and then we just started rocking from there. How did you feel when the news broke that he had been gunned down in the city? Again, yeah, bro, I lost so many niggas. It's a normal feeling until you hear his music, until you see his son. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel it until then. When you stroll up Instagram and see his, his son at Jackson State game, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, doggone. Damn, doggone, bro. Like, I ain't have no good time with him, though, so I ain't really got no bad moments to be like, man, I wish I could have talked to my nigga for himself. Like, nah, every time we saw each other, love, peace, respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, like great conversations. I, I know Dolph was the type that people might don't know, that even at his highest peak, if Dolph fuck with you, he'll send a message to you or he'll run into you some kind of way and chop it up with you. I know before he passed, he was reaching out to me, but I just didn't get with him because I was in Houston at the time, you know what I'm saying? But my little brother was like, my dog asked about you, you know what I'm saying? At the same gas station, at these highest peak now. And he's like, my dog asked about you. And I'm like, damn, I'm going to get with him and get with him. You know what I'm saying? But I had so much other shit going on, I felt like I had time to get with him. So what was the last conversation you remember with Young Dog? Because I know it was a picture with you and Young Dog chopping up right before I was. We was at the auction. We was at the auction, and he walked up behind me and put his hands across my eyes like this. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? And only Mop saw him. So it was me and Mop, and it was Dolph, and, and he was buying an old school for Daddy O. It was Daddy O's birthday. So he got his hands on my eyes, and I finally turned around with him. Like, what's up, bro? He hugged, we hugged each other for about 
30 seconds. He's like, well, what I've been, been doing, bro? I showed him the little bitch video. He was like, man, that's a hit. He was like, that's a hit. He was like, on the low, it's his words. And me and, and I had a conversation with Glock about this shit. That nigga said, that's when the versus shit had just started. It was in COVID season. He was like, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you probably the only nigga that can give me a run for my money in a versus from our city. You got them hits, boy. I, I was in the club the other night. They booked me in the club the other night in Memphis. I heard five of your songs in that motherfucker. Them hoes still jumping. Them hoes still dancing to it. Like, you got them hoes, the you got them songs for them bitches, boy. You know how to make them songs for them bitches. You know what I'm saying? And he told me he was buying it. I asked him for a little help. I said, bro, I need some avenues on the music, bro. I'm just doing music. I don't know. The reason why I stopped doing music because I'm just, I got 400 songs in the vault that I don't want to let go. Shit like old men. You know what I'm saying? All this shit that I got put up, that had what I had put up, I'm like, bro, I don't want to let old me go. And I know it's a hit. But I ain't got no album news to get it nowhere. He like, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. When you, when you get ready, when you get the video shot, just get with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was always a nigga saying, I got you, bro. Like, I got you. I got you, bro. Like, when, when he did the show, the last time I saw him do a show was at the club on uh, Germantown. The club. Club on Germantown, right there, not Sebo Jump, the one you get right off on Germantown, make the right, right before Sebo Jump. And then the plaza to the left. Ice bar, the old ice bar. Probably so. As soon as you got the spreadsheet, right there to the left, before the Krispy Kreme. I know there's a gas station, I think the shell caught the street from me. Yeah, the gas station caught the street. I don't know what they were calling it at the time, but it used to be, uh, Ice bar, I think. Mug shots. That's the name of the motherfucker. Mug shots. Right yeah. here. Mug shots. That's the name. Oh, yeah, that's all that. show in mug shots. I, I said in the corner, I, I said in the corner, dog rolling me a blunt 30 minutes. He walked in the door and took that motherfucker from me. I'm talking I'm sitting over there praying me a backwood. So pretty. Soon he walked through the door. Somebody pointed at me and said, they go going to boot early, dog. He walked Right over there, I took my blunt out of my mouth and fired that motherfucker. <laughs> so that yeah, was the last time that. we really interacted there. He took my blunt. You know what I'm saying? So that's my nigga, dog. Nigga like Glock know that's my nigga. Like, so every time me and Glock see each other, it's just the utmost respect. You know what I'm saying? Plus, he repped that ball, I repped that ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we repped the five, we have put you six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking on that ball, I'm glad you went to that ball because it's something that people be want to know. This is coming from Late Bloomers podcast that they be want me to ask you questions, but I told them I'm keeping my shit playing. Get to I'll just so speaking of the ball, we know you repped the ball. They we also know Money Bad Yo repped the ball. Are y'all a part of the same you know ball? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. We on the same. So, we we both among the same set. Okay, so how did how did it go about with him coming to the set? Cause he wasn't part of the set at first, right? I mean, it's the same movement. You know, what yeah. I'm saying like you, it's, it's it's the same movement to a point where not just him, but sixty percent of his entourage are from the same gang. You know what I'm saying? So he he ain't the only one that's that's ripping the ball beside him. He got. 10, 15 niggas that's with them ripping the same thing. You know what I mean? It just don't be broadcast. They ripping more bread game than what we, I mean, they they, 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 they broadcasting more bread game than they broadcasting the, the, the milk, you know what I'm saying? Which is okay, because they, it's their brand. So before oh, he came to the set, which you was already a part of, you already had rank in the set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't ranking everything I'm doing. Or I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. All right. All right. So what else I got to ask? What else I got to ask my nigga? Get up out of here. Take right, your time. We touched on top. We touched on top. We touched on the scene. 
what else? Y'all got some questions for OG before we get up out of here? It's been a good one. You know what I'm saying? While I'm thinking of it, OG Boo Dirty just dropped that underrated. I checked it out, whole tape. It was slamming. You know what I'm saying? I got a few jumps on there I like. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Spread your legs for the bitches. I, I knew like you were going to like that. Yo, freak ass. I knew you were going to like that. Oh, uh, yeah, I like that spread your legs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? I like I like the weed, and I don't even smoke weed no more, but I like that weed, motherfucker. That weed, motherfucker, make you roll up. It'll make, make you roll up, though. The bump and so. I like Speaking that. Speaking of uh, rolling up, I'm rolling up now. I like that mask on. I thought you was going to let these folks make it. I ain't know you still had that mask on. They, oh, yeah, that concrete the body. Concrete the body. You said you, know you had what a that bunch of on that concrete silent. the body. I'm in the club by myself with that Jimmy Butler in my pocket. Yeah, concrete the body. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got in your bag on that concrete the body. Yeah. I was I was shocked though. I was shocked, right? Cause the tape slamming all the way through. But I ain't you ain't give them that pain on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Lately you've been giving them that pain. Like you said, what that mean you're in a different state of mind at this point of life or something? Uh I think I think just to a point where after all I had so much I had too much pain on juice I feel like it was over like I didn't have a female song on on juice I did not have too many gangster songs on juice like out of eight songs six, five six songs was pain on juice you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the last mixtape I dropped you know? yeah so you get them, so you get them, you get them some some good vibes. You feeling good right now? Yeah. So I just, and that's why I, when I knew I was say I was gonna drop it every month, that's why I took a break and said I ain't gonna drop it every month because my music means so much. I can, I can go in here and do six songs this week and put me a tape out every week if I want to. But then I'd be like Gucci man. I'd be like all your other niggas. Music ain't got no message. Music, I'm just dropping mm -hmm. music because I got a platform to do it to make money. So I ain't doing it. I'm I'm sending a message with my music. You know what I'm saying? I but I I believe in what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the difference. I got my last question for you, and then we gonna get you gonna get you let you get up out of here. You know the kids on your ass. I got the last question. Right. This is a controversial question that it seems like everybody got another a different answer to. So I'm asking you from your perspective, what caused the beef with your guy from, from your perspective? Um, it was never my beef. So from your perspective, who, who beef was it? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It just, I went with the move because I felt like I was the big dog. You know what I'm Saying so, I don't know the situation where it came from. It, it, it came from in the streets. Whoever in the streets, we know where it came from. It had nothing to do with rap, and it had nothing to do with me. And it had nothing to do with you. It had something to do with our entourage and their entourage before your mob and fam mob. You know what I'm saying? It, it had something to do with street shit. You know what I'm saying? So we, it, it, it I inherited. I inherited the beef from who I was associating with. It's, it's kind of like, nigga, me and you in the mall and somebody sprang on you and I'm and it's three of them niggas and it's me and you and and I run. Do I run or do I help you? Yeah, you know and I run because I like you out there, jam, sprung on your way. So that's the situation I was in. Like, nigga, if, if I'm riding for my mans, I'm riding for my man. Like, if I'm riding for the cause, it's just what it is. I'm riding for the cause, right? Like, and we rocking together. I don't give a fuck what the situation is. So, I think that was that was started. That was free to the fact that then young mob, the fam mob, young mob and fam mob, she just took it over the top. And when I saw, and what's that club on Mendenhall? I mean, uh, on Ridgeway, the old what was it Martini Room? Snap a second. Yeah, it was my it was my tenor room with a teenage club at the time. Yeah, so I think Gotti came in there with Fam Mob one night, standing on the furniture, 
They were screaming, fuck him, mom. He had his towel in the air, shaking his hand with one hand in the air. That was the last straw for me. They, they said he didn't know what was going on. They said he just was waving his towel. He didn't know what they were hollering. Yeah, I, I did, though. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you, you, you understand beef when you see it. You know, damn, we he older than all of us. That was yeah. what the club was, Club Vision. That's the name of Vision. Yeah, B but it was it was my tenor room before it was Vision. That was my tenor room still then. They started doing teenage shit. Yeah. So the situation with me and God, this situation came from, I inherited from somebody else. Me and you know who it was, but it ain't for the people to know. You know what I'm saying? So I inherited that from somebody else and just me being me, I'm going to go too far with it. You know what I'm saying? So, when it's on, it's on. It don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I just feel like that's what happened to a point where even when I walked across the stage with the situation, like I told niggas, it made a lot of people mad, but it made my mama proud. So, which one more important? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like my mama, I, I made my mama proud. A lot of niggas, so, niggas, so, so going from the beef, how did y'all get to a point to where God had reach out to you and want to bring you out in his birthday bag? That, that, I don't know. I just got to, I just, I just, I got a call out the blue. I said, hey, bro, God didn't want your number. Want me to get to him? Like, shit, I don't give a fuck. When he called me, and we ain't say too much, we ain't chop up too many words. He said, What good, brother? Yo. I'm like, What good, good bro? He's like, Man, shit. He's like, You ready to do this shit? I'm like, Do what? Get the city what they want. I'm like, What they want? Put this shit behind us. I'm like, Shit. I'm like, what's your plan? What you what you trying to say? He like, you know, I got the birthday bed, bro. I want to bring you out. Let him know that shit behind us. We grown as hell, bro. We trying to get to the bed to figure out how to get some money together. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of tricked me, just but saying we gonna get some money together to put this shit behind us and get us get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, so but after we did this shit on the stage, like we we we, we talked to each other. One more time after that. One more time after that. And when we talked, it was the situation of asking how my people felt about it. He's like, bro, how you feel? What's good, bro? It's yo. I'm like, what's good, bro? He's like, how your how it's looking on your side? I'm like, you ain't looking too hot on my side. He like, man, either man, either a couple of my niggas ain't too hot about it. But they'll be all right, fuck it. Yeah, get over. We did the best. We did the, the, the best thing for our situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was the last conversation we had. We ain't never had another conversation since then. He always, but he did tell me whenever I need him, bump in line, he'll help me any kind of way he wants. You know what I'm saying? So, so really, so really, y'all, so really, y'all chopped on up on some man time. But even as big as you was to your side and as big as he is to his side, as big as he is to his side, it still couldn't stop the, the opinions of entourage members. No, nah, because you got to look at it. So many people got their own opinion about it. So many people got their own aspect about, about what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, so a lot of, some, certain people got shot. Certain people lost lives. Some people, it's, it, it's different different feelings for different people, so I understand. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, like, what I'm telling you, it made my mama proud. You know how I feel to make your mama proud? Most definitely. It's one of the best feelings in the world, so I don't give a damn who it hurt. My mama think I'm the greatest. Alright, y'all, so we're going to wrap it up with that.
in closing remark, OG Wu Dirty, my nigga, my brother. I appreciate you for coming through, blessing my first episode, a news you can use broadcast, which is a broadcast, not a podcast. You know, we're gonna take this shit to the top. Anybody got any questions for me before I tap out? Huh? Anybody got any questions for me before I tap out? Anybody else got any questions? Anybody got any questions before we get out of here? I know they got got questions. They've been throwing them in there the whole time. Yeah, I just anybody got questions? It's your time to shine. I just ain't ain't looked at them now. Now I'm trying to look at them now. I was I was giving you the respect of your interview, and then we'll go back. It's your time to shine. Who got questions? What's next with Coach Boo? Say they say what's next with Coach Boo? Oh, little dirty, little dirty. Headed them into the NFL. I mean, um, I'm still coaching at Bellevue. I still got a 10-year-old kid that play football. Travion just went to high school. So I, I, I got, I'm still in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's, that's what I do every day still. Get to the youth, get to the community. I just ain't got time for it. Little league. You know what I mean? Like, little league out of my area right now. I can't make it there right now. So I let that go and move to middle school and I'm back doing music. Until music take me all the way out of football. I just seen a good one. They say, "What's your top five rappers in Memphis?" Um, top five rappers in Memphis. Ever? The, whoever asked the question, is it right now, current, or my top five rappers in Memphis? Period. Top five rappers in Memphis. Period. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta show respect to the OG. I go play a fly first. Um, because he a pain rapper like me. He got a little pain in him. Uh, he a South Memphis nigga too. Um, we got play a fly number one. Um, you, you naming them in order? Nah. nah. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I do. I do. My old top, I mean my old five and my new five. All uh, right, we going with the old five and the new five. Which one you gonna start with? Old, old five, I go, I go, goddamn it, fly, fly, play or fly, uh, project, project, pack, uh, I go, uh. uh I go Starlito. Starlito. Um, There's three. Got two more. Uh, Kia Shine. Kia, Kia Shine. That's some news you can use. He threw Kia Shine in there, y'all. That's Kia four. Shine. You got one more. Kia Shine. Kia Shine. Oh, rapper. Oh, rapper. Oh, rapper. And just, uh, and oh, rapper, oh, rapper, oh, rapper. Mm, Dolph. Dolph. Okay. That's solid. I understand that one. I understand that one. I understand that one. All right. I, so, all right, I'll let's put, go with your new. I'll let's put go with eight your ball new. before Kia Shine. So, I take Shine out and I put eight So, you're going to swap Shine out for eight ball? Swap. Shine out for eight ball. Okay, okay. They was in the comments about that. All right, he swapped shine out for eight ball. I focus, All right, so he, had, I focus, he said, play I focus, or fly. I focus, like Frazier Boy, too. Frazier Boy was bumping to me. He said, play or fly, Project Pat, uh, uh, eight ball, eight ball, star leader, and, and dog. All right. All right, so give us your new, give us your new top five. There's a lot. Uh, a lot of people in the city making music right now, women included. Yeah, I don't Shiesty, one. Uh, Who shiesty? <laughs> on top. <laughs> He's so fucking slamming. Oh, God. Shiesty, uh. I go. go shiesty. Uh, shiesty. Man, man, man. Man, I'm, I'm telling you, brother, if you knew the niggas I bumped in today, it'd probably be some niggas you don't even know. Man, we want to hear what you, who you going to say. 
Oh, we got shysty so far. Shysty, you got them. Um, they like no Don Trip. The man didn't say Don Trip. Nah, Don Trip wouldn't be in my top five. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Trip made pain music, but I just feel like he a good rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a good rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with him, my nigga. We but, got a lot of key Glock showing up in the comments. You are, so far you just did Shyster. Yeah, Shyster, Glock, Shyster. Right, we got two. We got Shyster and Glock. Shyster, Glock, on last. Shyster, Glock. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie for D Moolah, so motherfucker bothered to me for. <laughs> hey, get what? I asked, hey, get what? They asked me the same question on Truth, on, on, on True Day podcast, and, I, and, and, and D Moolah was in my new top five. Hey, D Moolah been so motherfucker bothered lately, bro. Yeah, I'll tag D Moolah, tag D Moolah. Uh, he, and, he and OG Boo Dirty and King Ass Style. Now, big homie style, I'm a podcast. Too, I'm a broadcast of Big Homie Star, but King Ass Star the rapper. He and OG Mudard ain't King Ass Star. New top five. That's some news you can use. So we got Shysty, Glock, and D Moolah so far. We got two oh. more. That you done? Nah. Uh, they be pushing for Eddie Valero, boy. They was on my ass about Eddie Valero. This is his man opinion. Huh? Eddie Bumping. Any bumping is just all sound the same to me. All right, so who you got coming after D Moolah? You got three, you got two more. Any bumping, though. He bumping. Far Leary, while he bumping. He can make good concepts and songs, too. Um, damn, boy, that's hard. Because, man, we had three, ain't it? We had three, you got two more. Oh, shit. Bad. Money bag, okay. He got money bag in there. That's four. No. Ooh, uh, go there. Hmm. And this nigga here ain't dropped in so long, but I fuck with him. He ain't got no money for me to put him in there, though. Uh, that to be finesse, bro. Hey, finesse. So we got Pooh Shiesty, Key Glock, D Moolah, Moneybag Yo, and Finesse. Hey. That's his, that, that, that's his, that's his new top five, y'all. That's his new top five. Well, I seen is. another question on there I like. I seen another I seen another question on there I like. Let me see if I can go find it. I seen another question I liked in there. Oh, yeah, 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 because I, I meant to get on this with you. Being that you got a, a hooper background, who, who take away Penny Hardaway? It's that, who Penny Hardaway? That, huh? That is your mom. The GOAT Hooper of Memphis, Tennessee. That. That is young from Metro High School. That is young from Metro High School. Oh, you <laughs> say that's the GOAT Hooper of Memphis, Tennessee. After Penny Hardaway, cause I ain't even finna let nobody put nobody over Penny Hardaway, so we taking him out. But after that, we already say that is John, the goat hooper of Memphis, Tennessee. I no, take that over everybody. You know, my Sean finna be calling you in a minute. I said I take <laughs> that over everybody. <laughs> they finna team hustle finna call you in a minute, but hey. I, I take that. I, 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 I take that over Penny. I take that over Penny, fool. Oh, he say he take a dad over Penny. What's your reason for taking that over Penny? Been in the league eighteen years. He had fourteen points for his career. Mm. Hell of a career. He got a hell of a career and still going with no with no with no uh no trouble. He was a no McDonald's All American. He, he married. Ain't never got caught cheating in the public eye. Never no problem, no nothing. He just like LeBron, like how LeBron clear slate up. Life is that life the same way. No outside 
kids, no shit. Just his all around life, bro. His all around career. He like LeBron. Nah, for sure. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. I had to argue with people about that. I'm gonna get my spiel on it outside of that.